Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the second episode of the True First Person tutorial series. In this one, we'll be setting up our first person camera. So basically, we'll have our camera in our head and our body will follow our camera. Later on, we'll look into foot rotation and spine rotation when we look up and down. So the head will follow the camera and so will the gun and our hands. So without further ado, we will get into setting this up. First thing I'm going to do is just drag my test project out of the way here. And you'll notice that if you didn't do anything since the last project that you and you restarted it, that you'll have this blank screen and your project files are out of date. For now, I'm just going to click not now. And you want to go into your edit project settings and in here you want to go to maps and modes and put in your third person example map or whatever you named your map I believe the map I have here yes yeah, third person example map so now we have our map fixed and set up so when you reload the project your map will be automatically loaded into this one. So for the camera, the first thing you're going to want to do obviously is load up your character. So go to blueprints, characters, and open up our BP master character like this. And we want to click our viewport. And in our viewport, we can see that our camera right now is back behind our character, but we also have a camera boom, which is attached to it, which we want to keep. So we'll just adjust the target length to zero, compile and save. And I'm just going to reset the rotate, the location there on the camera boom. And while well, save, I'm going to go to my mesh, meshes folder. And here I want to get my master skeleton. And we are going to need to add a socket to our head. So you want to click your head, add socket, name that FP underscore camera for first person camera. And we're going to bring the location of that out some. I'm just going to we look at my test one over here to make sure. Fairly decent location. Just have mine right here in front of the head. And you can set these settings right here. They're not very precise, but they'll work. Any settings around there would be would work decently. So now we want to grab our camera boom and drag it to our mesh. So now we can click the search here. And we want to look for be right on the top actually our FP underscore camera. And then you want to reset the location and keep the rotation at 90. You'll notice your camera is up right now. It's moving with moving in the character's head. And we want to tick on our use control rotation yaw. You can grab the bar here and move it if you can't see everything exactly. You can just click this or just tick the value right here. And Double checking to make sure everything is set there. Well, for your character movement, you want to scroll down to your character movement rotation settings. I'm just going to reset this to 360 and reset this one and set the one right here. File and save. Okay. 
Now let me click play. You'll notice the camera is rotating in the head properly. Everything should be rotating. And I'm just going to quickly rename everything. Oops. Make a first person camera and first person spring arm. And that's going to be everything for this one. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit, to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my community Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.